The road takes us to Shenandoah National Park and Skyline Drive. A road trip featuring Spirit Bear and Downhill Truck. And of course, the Blue Ridge Mountains. These peaks extend 550 miles along the Eastern Continental Divide, which is the Appalachian Mountains. Two national parks and eight national forests make up this expanse land. Our first night, we got the foggy conditions. We took a quick few snapshots of sunset and then found our hotel for the night. The next morning, the skies opened up, and it was a beautiful day. Dad found a few good opportunities for photos. One of the great things about this area is that you can just drive up to these overlooks and get absolutely stunning views of the entire Blue Ridge Crest. Normally, while in Shenandoah, I spend time in the backcountry along the Appalachian Trail. But this time was different. We took the car and took Skyline Drive really has some of the same views you would see along the trail, which is the great thing about this scenic drive through Virginia. <laughs> the rental car we had was a shiny Nissan Altima. It had all the fixes and made for a comfortable day on the road, along with these views. How could you really complain? Views for miles and miles and miles along Virginia. From afar, we spotted Loft Mountain and later Big Meadows. There were wildflowers everywhere as everything had started to bloom. Yellow, pink, yellow again, some purple, and even blackberries, which hadn't budded yet, but soon will be feeding many bears part of his home. Spring was coming to Shenandoah National Park. Everything was awakening, and we were here to witness it. Along with big skies and big views all along the way. Skyline Drive and its overlooks were built in 1939 by the Civilian Conservation Corps. The drive spans 105 miles has many, many views along the way. Each corner is a new view, new mountains, new waterfalls, and new flowers. The drive was built in the tradition that you could take cars to reach these new destinations in the national parks. And cars provided a great way to see it all. As we took our last looks at the flower buds, we exited the park Skyline Drive, down the valley, looking up at those Shenandoah Mountains. And that night, we decided to stay in the historic town of Luray, Virginia. This town has a population of less than 5,000 people and is known for its beautiful caverns located outside of the town. We found the town to be cute with its Civil War charm and old world hospitality. In the middle of Luray is the South Fork of the Shenandoah River. This river provides some park access and creates wildlife all around. You can fish the river that cuts right through the center of town and provides access to this beautiful breezeway. The eastern redbuds were in full bloom along the river. These flowers had been following us the whole time along Skyline Drive and throughout our time in Virginia. They were beautiful. All of the flowers were. That night we had a feast of Domino's Pizza. We forgot napkins so we had to use towels. True hiker trash. We stayed in a fancy hotel across the street. And then we hit the road again, this time greeted by rain. But we had a new destination north of the Mason-Dixon line. 
Gettysburg National Park. This gloomy day portrayed the mood of a battle that was fought here on July 3rd, 1863, and was the turning point of the American Civil War. Imagine being a soldier looking down the barrel of this cannon, and then firing off into this abyss, killing other soldiers in your country. Memorials stand all around to remind us of this brutal past. Let us not forget and let us not build walls between our brothers anymore. Instead, let's enjoy the beauty of this world and this country, just like me and my father did. We enjoyed this trip greatly. Thank you for joining along.